Hey everyone, how's it going? So we are going to do a quick little lesson on electric flux. You remember from before that flux is field times area. So when we do electric flux, it's going to be it's going to be the electric field times the area. And in this case, we also have to remember that we want the uh, perpendicular component of the electric field. That's what matters, because that's what's poking through the surface. So it's going to be E times A times sine or cosine of the angle, uh, depending. In this case, we know the x and the y components already. So that means that in this case, it's only the y component that matters in calculating the electric flux. So that is going to give us 370 volts per meter times the area of this rectangle, which is 0.04 times 0.06, so 0 0.0024 square meters. And then that number times 370 volts per meter gives us 0 0.888 volts per meter times a meter squared, which ends up being choice number two.